everyone, it's me Olya here, you're welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to learn seven Ukrainian phrases that contain the word hand. And worry not, before you turn this video off, I won't be teaching you no uh, old-fashioned, um, fancy, rarely used phrases, nothing like that. Well, sometimes idioms and uh, expressions can be like that. But these ones are commonly used, so um, if you feel like expanding your vocabulary with a few phrases that you can often hear from in spoken Ukrainian, from native speakers on TV, you can meet them in the book, keep watching. And before I start, the word hand in Ukrainian means ruka. 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 Phrase number one is nosite na rukach. Nosite na rukach. Nosite na rukach means to carry in hands. That's the literal translation, but what does it mean? So to carry somebody in your hands means to treat them with great respect, with great care, to protect them, to treat somebody really, really well. For instance, jej дуже пощастило з чоловіком. Він її на руках носить. She is very lucky with her husband. He is treating her with great respect. He is treating her really, really well. Носити на руках. Носити на руках. Phrase number two has very different uh, mood to it, I would say. It is давати волю рукам. Давати волю рукам. Давати волю рукам. If you translate it literally, it means to give freedom, давати волю, воля means freedom, to give freedom to hands. Basically, to grab somebody if they don't want that, but you still grab them, or to beat them. For instance, заспокойся, тільки не давай волі рукам. Calm down, don't give freedom to your hands, don't be violent, don't beat people. Phrase number three, легка рука, легка рука, means light hand. Or you can meet sometimes мати легку руку, to have a light hand. To have a light hand means to be easily successful at anything you do. So whatever you start doing, it goes really well, you have successful result without much um, effort. Also, you can meet the same phrase, легкий на руку, легкий на руку for males or легка на руку for females. Спробуй, у тебе все вийде, ти ж легкий на руку, or у тебе ж легка рука. Uh, so, um, just try and do it. it, you will succeed. You have light hand, your hands are light. Very often I hear um, my grandma applying this phrase to hairdressers. So if a hairdresser has light hand, it means that after she cuts, he or she cuts your hair, um, it will grow um, faster. Which is actually a dubious compliment to say to a hairdresser, I feel like, because, you know, if I'm going to a hairdresser, I would like my hair to stay as it is as long as possible and not grow. But, you know, it is what it is. Number four, nechisti na ruku, or nechista na ruku if you are talking about a female. So nechisti means not clean, unclean. So if somebody is nechisti na ruku or nechista na ruku, it means that their hands aren't clean, that they are not necessarily the most honest person, and if they have a chance, they will trick you, cheat on you. So to say that somebody's hands aren't clean means to say that they are not trustworthy because they can deceive you. And you don't do business with people who are nechisti na ruku. Bad reputation. For instance, ja ne dovieraju Stepanu. Znaju, що він nechisti na ruku. I don't trust Stepan. I know his hands aren't clean. He isn't trustworthy. Number five is prava ruka. Prava ruka. Prava means right. Ruka means hand, so prava ruka is the right hand. So to say that somebody is um, your prava ruka means to say that somebody is your first assistant, somebody whom you trust, somebody you can depend on in their organization or whatever it is that you are doing. For instance, ця жінка моя права рука. 
Ми давно з нею працюємо, і я у всьому можу на неї покластися. This woman is my right hand. Uh, we are working together for a long time, and I can depend on her literally in everything. Права рука. Права рука. Number six. Золоті руки. Золоті руки. Золоті руки literally translates as hands of gold, golden hands. So to say that somebody has golden hands means to say that um, the person manually can do anything and whatever they do, they will do it well. You would say it's very similar to light hand. It is in a way, but being light-handed uh, means um, no effort, that you are doing things effortlessly and easily and you're doing it well. But if you have golden hands, it only means that you are doing things really, really well, that whatever you do, you will do well, you will be responsible and you will put much effort in it. So, so that's close in meaning, but different. If a person has gold hands, it means that uh, whatever they touch, they can f if it's broken, they can fix it easily. For instance, у мого дідуся золоті руки. Він може полагодити будь-що. My grandfather has golden hands, has hands of gold. He can fix anything. And number seven is на швидку руку. На швидку руку. So if you have to translate it literally, it means on a quick hand. Швидкий means quick. So на швидку руку, on a quick hand. So to do something na швидку руку means to do something quickly, to do something in a hurry, to do something so it's done, but you don't really care how it's done. You don't really care if it's done well or if it's done badly, just quickly to be done with that. For instance, цього разу ти виконала завдання добре чи як учора на швидку руку? This time did you do your assignment well or like yesterday? Quickly, na швидку руку, carelessly. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something new. Do you have any interesting phrases that contain the word hand in your native language? I would like to know. If you enjoy my content and want to support it, you can do it now. I will leave the link to my Patreon down below. You can find it there. Thank you very much to those who are supporting me there already. It really, really means a lot. If you still have any questions or you have interesting video ideas that you think I should film, do not hesitate and leave them down below because I'm always on a hunt for them. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one very soon. Bye!